In this video, we're going to see uh, how to uh, update your uh, DNS for the custom domain for branch. If you want to know more about branch and why we uh, use branch, you can see the other video. Yeah, it, it explains the benefits and all those things. But quickly, I wanted to uh, just connect my domain and then with the branch so by default they provide this 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 links for example like 290uv.app.link okay but when people share the listings or they share the store uh, links or the education uh, account link or, or anything it's going to be like at 290 dot i mean app lock okay let me just copy this it's going to be like this okay for example actually i can show this one when people search go dot really dot go um just a minute it goes it goes directly to the website yeah if people search the same link on the mobile it will go to the respective store so this the link was nice i mean it looks proper go.trailer.co but if you look at this one it's like 290 doesn't look friendly yeah so i wanted to use my own link so similar like go.trailer.co for the new brand one of our friends business i'm setting this up go cuckoo.app okay i'm gonna confirm this so when i confirm this domain not pro uh, not properly configured please cname your domain to custom.branch.de so let's show you how to do that so you go to your dns record go to the cname and then in the answer you need to put this thing and then what is the uh, prefix we are using go so it, i just put go and then save and also this TTL minutes I think each uh, domain provider has their own minimum TTL number I think uh, the bare minimum is 100 but anyway let's try if I try if I try 100 I don't think they will allow must be at least 300 300 means it's like 300 seconds so I'm I added this okay and it takes 300 seconds to propagate so if you wanted to pro uh, do like check outside um, check from a free tools whether your domain has been propagated so what you can do is that what we are trying to check is we are trying to check the c name and the url is go.cuckoo.app so i'm going to search this it should show me the value as the branch one so it's it's already propagated okay so if i go to branch and then try confirm let's just see domain is domain information is ready to be saved please confirm because they do check in the back end whether these uh, c name has been propagated to this custom branch dot to it uh, so let me just confirm okay that's done so this is how how you can configure your custom domain after you configure your custom domain what you need to do is that you need to copy this go to the settings because our api is also need to uh, know this information so you go to branch and then previously you can see i have used the default now i want to use go.cuckoo.app only if i do this thing when people uh, in the latest web app we also sort of like um brought this invite feature let me show you we are improving the navigation but i want to show you where is the invite friend feature so i think it should be here uh, if it's not it's fine we'll just go directly to this page um, so when people click this link then it will automatically uh, take the um, the custom domain we have used okay so that's the purpose of i mean that's how you do the um, branch configuration with your domain